Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Choose to Lose campaign. Where we're trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty with limited soldiers, limited items, uh, the infamous A Better Advent and A Better Chosen mod and of course reduced hit points. It's endgame time, it is time for Operation Brooding Him where we're finally facing the Archon King. I mentioned we're sending in the B team and uh, therefore a couple of the already Colonel but no longer in use original B team um, uh, soldiers such as Lockdown and Meltdown are finding their way back. Zirkim is helping out because uh, another Ranger is needed. Tapper and Beast are going to join as well. Beast being the freshly recruited Colonel uh, Skirmisher and Secundus, because we don't have another mech that still needs experience, will also be there. Gotta be a bit careful since the alien ruler is a uh, force to be reckoned with. We do not have any of the alien ruler weapons, unfortunately, because uh, Zukuger, who would have the bolt uh, caster, is not here. And we also do not have uh, the uh, frozen grenade or, well, we do have the axes on Sirkin, so we have at least one of the weapons that uh, you could use in order to fight him. Other than that, it's a pre pretty straightforward uh, mission. The one thing that I forgot, uh, so let's fly back just really quick. The one thing that I forgot is Beast does have a weapon without any weapon upgrades and he also has no PCS. That's unfortunate. Let's give him superior focus for now. Good. And what we're going to give him is... Well, everything that I wanted to give him is not available, so... Let's give him advanced laser sight, superior hair trigger is good, and we're not going for repeater. So unfortunately his weapon is less than optimal. We are eventually going to give him a better weapon as time uh, goes on, but for now we gotta do with what we do have. We will have very limited ammunition. The skirmisher in particular needs expanded magazines or auto reloader because they are shooting so often. Good, straight out invasion instead of doing it as a stealth mission because we want to get that Archon King. Unfortunately we don't have either an Advent or an XCOM support so we're going in with six instead of seven operatives. Beast on the other hand I mean we could effectively place them up here. It's not a bad position to be honest. Moving up. Secundus takes a high ground as well. Might as well take that one. Meltdown, full cover. Lockdown unfortunately doesn't have the liberty to have the high ground yet. Might as well get there soon. And Tapper stays back. Let's just use scanning protocol liberally at the very beginning. Got our first pack over there. That looks like a drone. Isn't it a little bit late for drones? I thought they were early level units. Okay, well. Sounds about right. No And it sounds like a sectopod is here. Good. So far, so good. Zirkim continues to scout ahead. I can very clearly hear a sectopod from somewhere over here. That stomp stomp okay, I'll go. is uh, pretty telling. Not a problem. Moving up. On my way. 
Sikunus takes a bit of an aggressive stance here. And I think for now we're good. It's not a timed mission, so our idea mainly is to overwatch. Okay, so far so good. Secundus moves up to provide cover. Lockdown gladly takes that. Zirkil continues moving forward. And somehow the game decides to freeze. Meltdown takes a high ground. And Beast does have the ability to, to, to grapple up if needed. I think if we're positioning ourselves here, we have plenty of options to grapple up. Attacking on Moving to Overwatch. Setting Overwatch. Scanning. Overwatch. I'm holding. Good, I'm sort of hoping uh, that one of the patrols will move in and we just get a nice little look on my way. onto them. So far that was not successful. Those guys are still over here, the drone at least. I think we're good. Tepper needs to stay a tiny bit back. That's fine. And let's just double check the grappling options. Plenty. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're good. I will watch. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Overwatch. Scanning. Fantastic. Ooh, if we kill the purifier. That guy will explode and eventually shred the others. Well, or not. That's an excellent shot, by the way. Good. That is what we were hoping for. Elite Maddie Drone. Okay, that's why they t uh, keep them with them. Good, first things first. The drone needs to die. Nicely shredded. And shortly afterwards it goes down. Elite officer takes the hail of bullets. Should have reloaded first, but it's fine. And Secundus could take that kill. Good, I think I've seen a tower here during the zoom animations. Kills all confirmed. Affirmative, covering now. We're good. We're good. Non evade detection. Not much is happening. For now we're fine. Let's regain our cooldowns, so that's four turns, and we're reloading at the same time. We got an auto loader here, right? Yeah, superior auto loader. Okay. Eventually, we'll take our specialist and move him up a bit. Yeah, Tepper would have a better position up here. Okay, let's wait three more rounds. 
If another patrol comes in, great. If not, we're continuing to engage. The area wasn't that heavily um, secure to begin with. We had, I think, nine enemies, three of which we already killed. So if another pack comes in, we would already have wiped out two-thirds of the map. And since none of the Chosens can uh, come as well, because we've killed all of them, those missions here are becoming more and more straightforward. Okay, do we have overdrive? Yes, we do. Very important cooldown for us. Yeah, I was right. I was right. Good. Moving over here, we should spot out the tower, should it? Double time. Good, we're moving over. What's over there? Meltdown moves over. Moving to designated coordinates. Wait, what? Now the tower is being scouted. All right, Position moving out of range again. All right, tower tactical analysis uh, is fine. Because we are just going to use our sharpshooter uh, and eventually are going to zerk it down. The one thing that we could do is in order to scout a bit ahead, I think... Oh no, there was a sector pod. There was a sector pod, so we're not going to do that. I'll save also both of the combat protocols just in case got to respect that sector pod what okay well wasn't sure that we were in range. Uh, elsewise, of course, I would have killed the tower right away, and even given him the chance to take that shot. That's affirmative. This variation of the Archon must surely be the modified subject Dr. Valen had been experimenting on. She didn't have to upgrade their equipment in the process. No wonder these things escape from the lab. Good, let's reposition and let's take a good uh, position where everybody can hit that guy. Order confirmed. Moving out. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. I'm on it. Okay. It's killing time. Sure thing. It is interesting. Because we need to um, pull him somehow. That's all of that is Overwatch. I think we're moving back so that we're out of line of sight, so that I could theoretically combat protocol and a protocol without being punished for it. 
the meltdown takes the outmost position to have a better angle okay so off we go eighty four percent versus a hundred percent I think we're going to take the eighty four because if we miss nothing will happen and if we hit that guy takes an even harder hit all right let's go Okay, let's use our chance then. First of all, we gotta shred it. Taking off all the armor. There's the blade storm. Oh, missed. Yeah, I didn't get it. No, 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 we're not taking that explosion. Free action does not provoke a reaction. Good, a couple of things here. Number one. Secundus takes the eight protocol. Number two, we're overwatching. Good. Secondly. We do do we have the option to have two overwatch shots? Um, first reaction when entering overwatch yes so that is two overwatch shots right here we would continue to hit him that way and I think rupture is even the better choice because we would mark him and he would take three more damage, so the two, uh, it would actually be net one more damage. All right, this is in the hopes. Oh boy. Or it's Overwatch when you need it. There's one. There's two. Should have also used interrupt because now we're taking now we're going to take damage. Shredded him completely. And that's the problem. Second Overwatch is gone. All right, let's hit him. He's dodging again, but it should be enough to make him flee. Ceiling. That way he can't have a reaction. Moving up so that he can't see us. Dude, he was not allowed to act. I disagree with that. Uh, there was no way he could see us. But yeah, whatever. That's uh, one of those... Well, it's an XCOM moment, moments. The elders whisper. They speak of the end. 
Voilà. We missed a 92% shot uh, with rupture. That was one problem. And he dodged quite a few. So the whole fight with a little bit better RNG could have gone flawless without us taking so much damage. But sometimes it just doesn't work that way. Pepper moves up so that we can heal next turn. And Secundus is okay for now. No point in being mad about it. It just happens. The amount of time that I missed 90% shots is staggering. Potentially is 10%. But it feels more. But so is the nature of RNG. You always uh, think uh, you always think back of those great misses and never remember the 37 or 27 percent shot that you eventually hit against all odds. Good, we got him down to two thirds. The good news is he will very much regret coming here. Because the next time he spawns, there won't be any extra armor left for him. He will start with zero armor. Unfortunately, we've also lost the ability to scout. So, the next time that we're going to meet the sector port, there is not going to be a scout left. Overwatch, Overwatch, Overwatch. Reload Overwatch and let's go over here. Pretty sure the sector port is inside. We're hearing a little bit of movement. There's another turret. Starting to nicely hit it. Oh, nice, a crit. Fantastic. Good, we're carefully moving forward. No point in triggering anything yet. Second turret is gone. Which means we have like we killed three plus two turrets that's five uh, and since it's nine it will be sector port plus three is the last pack pretty sure that that is going to be to the last pack Proceeding to target. good meltdown moves to here can moves to there and our sniper would appreciate a high ground something up here potentially I think it is prudent to have that extra scanning protocol to see where the enemy is at Good, sector port plus heavy mech plus lancer and then we got another pack up here which looks like elite spec uh, no specter prime and specter interesting which means if we are moving up here we should trigger one pack, but not the other. I guess that will 
Are you okay? Good, moving up. Very much moving up. Good, we're getting into a decent position where we can hit all of them and Secundus essentially moves over here so that he can hit both of them as well. Okay, cool. Uh, there are a couple of options. I don't want to remove the cover. I think we're just gonna go with that Spectre Prime. Alright, pulling that one Spectre out of cover is worth it. Good, fantastic. Now is a good time for run and gun. Moving to here. Not sure if we can use our sniper, potentially not. No, but we could still use the pistol. There is a chance of critting and killing him, which we're doing. Fantastic. Good, now it's time to deal with that guy. And we're going to mark him first. Only a 50-50 on rupture, so we're instead using hail of bullets. That also reduces his cover. Fantastic. Our soldiers are suffering out there. We'll need to give them some time to recover when we get back. Well then, overdrive it is. Enemy unit still engaged. Enemy targeting this position. Good, let's hit him. And let's hit him really hard. Oh, that's a miss. Fifty fifty for a dead eye, I like it. Oftentimes it's better to take a chance for a really hard hit instead of a moderate hit. Get it together. Well so much for hitting him. Takes a couple of shots. Not very good though. What? It fell down and it gets a bonus action for that? Okay. Seems legit. That should be programmed a bit different. If he falls down due to his own shortcomings, then why would you get punished, right? At least for me that seems to make limited sense. I know that in the early versions of ABA, the Primes effectively took actions whenever um, whenever resistance operatives were uh, trying to uh, hit them, but that had been patched ever since because it was stupid uh, to give them like 10 actions around um, and eventually lose your soldiers because of the operatives. I do agree with that, and falling damage sort of seems like a very similar category to me. Reloading weapon. 
Well, that was a mistake, by the way. I mean, of course you can come here and try to uh, Shadowbind. But it was simply not very smart. Alarium Core is exactly what we were looking for. Sure Fantastic loot right there. Good, and let's continue with moving to here. Reloading. It's potentially a free reload. And uh, then we're just overwatching. Reload Overwatch. Yeah, we're kind of highly clustered here. Want to get rid of uh, that cluster as soon as possible. Three more turns until overdrive. Like I said, let's break up this cluster here. Moving up. Secundus moves up. Meltdown moves over here. Getting the high ground is super advantageous. At the same time, we gotta be careful. I'm on the move. Not to be caught out of position. Because uh, if you only take high ground and you kind of take bad positions, that's of course not helpful either. We know the last pack is back there. Let's just double check if they're still standing there. Thankfully, we do have a battle scanner. Gotta use those items for the extra bit of information that they grant. Okay, we know exactly where they currently are. Reload Overwatch. Moving up. Secundus reloads and overwatches, and we're having full ammunition. Okay, so far so good. Haven't triggered them yet. How much longer until overdrive? One more turn. Alright, they haven't moved. Let's just double check if we can. No, we can't reach. We can't reach uh, the front. Uh, that might have triggered. Yep, it has triggered. Is that a sector pod? Oh. Oh, that's a sector pod prime. That is a sector pod prime, right? It is a sector pod prime. The moment when you're double checking and you're in utter disbelief, you're like, nah, that's not a sector pod prime, right? Yeah. You have that unfortunate feeling that it is indeed a sector pod prime. Okay, let's try to let's try to just shut him down. I mean, we don't need to take him over. That would be excessive. But a shutdown would help us a lot. Okay, I think with a shutdown he's stunned and he will not regain the actions during the process of being stunned. We're going to test that hypothesis. Shut down for three. Okay. Well, that's a start. Good. Moving to here, that we should be able to see the sector port. Oh yeah, we can. Overdrive. 
Gotta shred this guy. Gotta shred it. Good. Enemy armor intact. All right. Doesn't seem to reduce the stun time. Rupturing it. Nice one. 17 uh, points of damage. And that might be the money shot right here. Fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Death from above to move up. I had a couple of other uh, aces up my sleeve, namely an EMP bomb. Don't know where the last guy is at. Should have potentially, instead of moved, thrown the uh, the battle scanner. There you go, buddy. We must destroy their armor. And you might have wondered why would you take that guy up here? I can tell you exactly why I would do that. Because now he's in the open. Zero cover. And we're doing my favorite thing, shotgun to the face. Straight up. So the guy is technical analysis. Technically shouldn't be able to do anything but move. <laughs> okay, that was the worst place where you could have theoretically moved, buddy. Oh boy, what a hilarious activity of the Mac. All right. Reloading, and let's start to shred it. Reload. And marking it. And let's give Zirkim the kill for good measure. Kill confirmed. Fantastic. I think that this has been indeed the last pack. What a fight. I like it. The sector port prime died due to the right utilization of um, skills. Apparently there is still a last pack somewhere. But let's plant the C4. Look like a charm. There's the extraction point. And that's one. And two. And three. And four. And of course five. And thanks to grapple. It is six. Wonderful. Let's get out of here. Okay, overall successful. We got the alien ruler and shot him down quite nicely. We engaged the sector port prime. By the way, pretty dick move of the game uh, to call it a sector port, and then in reality it was a sector port prime. Our scanner was a bit quote unquote off uh, there. But luckily, since they do have a beatable hack resistance, we could just stun it. And once it's stunned, uh, it actually is prone. The other option would have been the 
EMP grenade, which could also stun it nicely. What a good mission. The B team worked well. Yep, no promotions, couple of wounds and beast is shaken. We got another Elarium core. The facility now stands in ruin, Commander. Excellent work. Your efforts will no And we got two cores ready. Fantastic. So the moment that we do have supplies, experimental power weapon is coming in, and then potentially a war suit. Or we're getting some ammunition um, and hoping for tail and rounds, but I think war suit is the safer bet. Back to assorted loot. Now the the last um, alien ruler is freed. We gotta hopefully fight against the Archon soonish so that I can get the Icarus suit. There's the supply drop, straight up a thousand, which is fantastic. Luckily, the Chosen's no longer pose a threat. It's interesting that he. Uh, still gathered some info, but look at that. They never really reached even the point where they could shut us down, with the exception of the assassin. Advent return fire, that stinks. Uh, alien retaliation counter by two weeks, that's not a problem. And the hidden event, I don't know. Lightly wounded troops can be sent into combat. Hmm, that's not bad either. I think we're fine for now. I would not see any improvement potential yet. Got a thousand right there. And like I mentioned, let's begin with that here. And we need more Illyrium crystals to even do the war suit. That's fine. We got enough intel so we can purchase purchase that potentially right after we're done with the assorted loot here or the game simply uh, suggests that we should get some Elarium uh, via a supply rate that is great gatekeeper prime is on the other hand not so great high concentration of beast like enemies so we're potentially seeing a lot of chrysalids an elite lancer and the gatekeeper well that's bad so what's the idea for for this month before we're continuing so we're definitely going to counter that i would say we're trying to um, build up uh, the war suit and the other uh, the other heavy weaponry i would like to potentially start doing the black side and maybe also the gateway does the gateway also have a gatekeeper Codex Prime. Alright, not sure. Maybe it's a Gatekeeper Prime. Who knows? But yeah, that would be the idea of uh, this month. We're almost done with uh, Shadow Chamber research. So there isn't much happening from that side. Still got some extra points left over. But I think for now we're fine. The one thing that I noticed is there is a potential new bond between our skirmisher and tapper, right? Yep, that sounds good. Okay, fantastic. Anything else that we need to do right now? I think the answer is no. We're uh, looking good. So next up will be a supply run with uh, potentially the B team. Let's see. Lockdown, Meltdown are still ready. Toxic seems to be ready again. Tapper seems to be ready. Unfortunately, Beast is not ready. We can definitely take the uh, Spark. And maybe we're taking another... another random uh, soldier. Let's see what I will come up with, but uh, that's about the troop that is going to um, fight against that gatekeeper prime as long as we do have a at least one way of disabling it potentially an EMP grenade and um, 
and um, a flashbang grenade both uh, would make sense. The EMP can stun, the flashbang grenade uh, removes its ability to um, create a lot of zombies. So both of them together could be helpful. Good, but that happens next time. For now, I wish you a farewell and see you on the next run, guys. If you like the content, as always, leave a comment and a like down below. That helps the YouTube algorithm and we see each other in two days. Bye-bye.